Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Lillian. But if you're an OG, thank you for always tuning in. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. I recently made a video talking about how I reorganized my life to be able to live in Ghana with three children. So I made a video talking about that, but it was a vlog. So I didn't explain deep into it. And normally when we are doing vlogs, we don't have all the time to explain things in details. And I feel like, let me sit down and talk about this in details. And also how I get paid for living in Ghana and why I cannot go back to Nigeria anytime soon. And also because of things that are happening around that you don't get to see because nobody is bringing the hard moments to the public everybody is bringing one one news and that news is good news all the time so the bad news you don't get to see a lot of people who don't want to be involved with bringing you guys the reality because they don't want to be seem like a sad channel or being too real so but i'm here to tell you this for free and i hope that it will be of help I have said you should please like this video. Please don't forget to like the video. So let's dive straight into it. Last year, I talked about how I get paid for living in Ghana, how I make money, contrary to a lot of people's assumption that I am living in Ghana because I have a child with a Ghanaian man. And because of that, I'm living in Ghana on welfare. I was blushing. I have had more than one person reached out to me through Facebook talking about, oh, are you in Ghana because your baby daddy is a Ghanaian and the Ghanaian government is helping you because they care so much about their citizens and all that. So is that why? And you are doing amazing. Guess when this started? This all started when I finally decided like okay i had the money to rent an apartment in 2022 and i remember being very in very public about it the whole journey taking people for shopping you know so when i go shopping for my apartment to get the basics i used to film like i was filming when i'm going groceries i will film when i'm doing all those things i will film and i started to get the attention of a lot of people who are looking for opportunities like that especially to escape from nigeria okay because me coming to ghana and doing all that nigeria is hell already how did she just come to ghana boom she's doing that so a lot of people wanted to know how i was making money I keep explaining but they won't stop like more people will come i'll explain so i did a video talking about it at the time i did that video i was at seven thousand subscribers and we are almost double that number and i'm still getting people from time to time wish to know what it takes to move back to ghana for those in america and other parts of the world and then for those in nigeria from time to time i still get someone asking if they can and what they will be able to do here to earn a living. I have been very honest with everyone, but today I will have like, let's invest some time here in talking about things that a lot of YouTubers will never tell you about the reality of living in Africa or coming back to live in Africa. We are always in a hurry to pick up our cameras and microphone to go interview people who recently just moved to africa uh, precisely to ghana for those of us that vlogs about ghana around ghana and everything beautiful ghana like for those of us that vlogs about ghana but we've never seen any of us pick up a camera to return back to go update you know go check on these people that you have interviewed to know how they are doing if it's no longer okay with you even the YouTubers that interviewed you when it was cool with you would distance themselves from you. What really inspired me to talk about this is the fact that Vaughn talked about she and her husband wanting to go back to America to work and continue to invest here in Africa, in Ghana. Last year of November, when I went to interview Vaughn, she was certain that she and her husband are not going to america again they are good they are going to be in ghana and they had a lot of things going on for them a lot of businesses they already started you know different things they were 
doing at that time i was very impressed and i'm still impressed yeah but recently when i interviewed them i think that video dropped recent maybe yesterday i don't know when this one will be but that video dropped recently and they have a change of mind they want to go back to america work for some time save up and return this is the reality on ground that a lot of people don't tell you people tell you oh she moved to america to to come to ghana they don't go back there to interview the people and see their struggle so before you want to move before you want to think about it please um do your findings okay do your findings try to do your plus and minus because i realize that in most of these interviews that we youtubers living in ghana have been granting to a lot of people they were all based on okay uh i came back to ghana to do this i came back um we don't go back there to see what the reality is for me personally apart from von and i'm able to call her name because she said it with her mouth and said it publicly she didn't see the need for any hide and seek but there are a lot of people i will never mention their names or show you their pictures that i know i mean one-on-one -on -one. and most of them came to ghana through our youtube videos and some of them through mine mm -hmm. they have this and i know kind of and i know and i know and i know and like me that like to keep it real as it is when i come back here with such an update is usually it looks like oh okay you are not from here but you are, you want to discourage people you are living here you want to discourage people from coming that is not true okay i can never discourage anyone from coming i can only give my takes okay for me as a nigerian coming to ghana i have nothing to lose no regrets i didn't waste any of my time there's nothing about me that has that i, I was supposed to do in nigeria that oh I, I wish i knew i wouldn't have come to ghana i've spent all the time doing i mean i've wasted all the time in ghana i should have stayed back there's nothing like that because for me i was just I was just alive in nigeria ghana saved me but that may not be your story you abandoning everything in your developed in a developed country to move to africa to want to start life all over again you have to think about it tolerate and for me if i ask if you ask me i will tell you specific persons that i wish to return to africa and those that i wish should only come for holiday and go back come to come for holidays enjoy yourself feel at home love it here and return back to work because getting a job here that will be able to sustain you except maybe you want to steal <laughs> they are rich people here don't get me wrong but it's not all of us that are brilliant enough to know what to do to make so much money to be able to keep us going most of the time the rich people you see around that you think are rich the people that are living comfortably they make their money on this continent they made their money outside so don't follow them because they are coming this is where i say avoid trends right now i talked about a nigerian woman that almost got me into trouble last year for helping her go to the abo to clear her goose she didn't do any research she just sent her goose to ghana like that and then on getting here they realized that was when we realized that clearing your goose at the harbor is not even a joke especially if a car is involved whether you're a ghanaian or not and especially if that car engine is a bit old you're going to spend a lot of money to get it down from the sea from the port and that car or your goose staying there attracts a certain fees every single day and you will pay so much there was no research on ground she just sent her things even when i was like hey sister pause sister pause come and visit come on she refused she sent those things and those things as you and i are speaking right now the agent that i link up to the woman is she just didn't want to she just don't know what to do because she have seen that i honestly didn't have a hand in blocking the goose from being cleared she she is dealing with a lot of things behind the scenes like it's affecting her business because this woman's goose are there at the harbor blocking 
every chance of a lot of things these goods are still at the harbor right now and it's going to get to a time where the government will have no choice but to seize it because these goods already are becoming liability and occupying space and affecting a lot of people's life in a very negative way including the owner to get it so before you take any decision do your research why the lady changed her mind not to clear those goods is not because suddenly ghana is no longer lovable and a happy place to live is because the cost of clearing the goods alone made her felt like okay plus or minus if i put in that money i can buy you get you even spend less to get those goods now they are there blocking other people's chances of doing business and also moving this is just one of them like there are a lot of people that are oh i wish i knew i wish i knew but i said i said it just that i'm like one against millions like me coming out to tell you do your research well before you move and then millions of others telling you move 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 i will start to look like the controversial one the unhappy one the saddest among them now we have to go back and look at it like this youtubers that inspired inspired some people to come to ghana are no longer living here they all went back the likes of vanessa kambi a champong family there's this kenyan lady ondiro oganga i think i watched one of her videos where she said she's leaving ghana these people are relocating to the west see the only set of people i would highly recommend move back to ghana is the elderly if you are retired in the u.s and you are still living there and spending monies that you have made before retirement and the cost of living is still the same as when you were working and earning money but now you are no longer working you are spending the one you have saved and you are still spending the same amount i will highly recommend you find your way to africa if you are that person that have always wanted to relocate to any part of africa be it ghana and nigeria anywhere you want to go but you know me i will not recommend you move to nigeria as it is not facts at the table but you can still go there are a lot of black americans that have successfully repatriated to nigeria and they are doing amazing but it's not what i know it's not what i'm familiar with because i can't really tell you oh live like this when myself i had to run away from there to this place so before you start dreaming of coming back to Africa, be it Ghana, Togo, Nigeria, Africa, do your findings well. Don't get me wrong, I understand the struggle. You are working, end of the month, that money is barely enough or is just enough for you to pay your bills, pay your medical insurance, pay your electricity bill, pay your internet bill, pay your apartment me pay your rent or mortgage for those on mortgage pay your different bills and then at the end of the day you have like maybe a hundred dollar remaining when you eat you do everything you have just a hundred dollar remaining but we here <laughs> let me just keep it as it is okay let me let me be let me be backlash at once because i may not do this type of video again but let me at once um to save somebody we we here hmm? You see that hundred dollar <laughs> if you see it you will sweat you will sweat so bad like before you get it what you get is not enough in fact you don't even get at all to be able to pay your bill okay so young people with your strength blood flowing in your veins avoid moving back to africa like that avoid coming back home in a hurry because the youtube videos have made it look so easy oh you can with this setting with this amount of money you can buy a plot of land a lot of people you are seeing on youtube that looks happy are not really happy the only people me i know the only one i can say okay yes this person moved to ghana and is genuinely into it that i know of is Calvin Daniels. This is the only man with no single bit of struggle because he came to Ghana at the right time. He moved to Africa when he is supposed to do it. I don't know who advised him to do this and he did it so well. He moved to Ghana to, when he's already retired. He moved to Ghana when he's, you know, grown like the, the main parties when he's already retired in the US. He sold his house, sold his properties 
and just pick his money and came to Ghana. He's doing exploit. That video will be coming soon. I'll be, very soon I'll visit the farm to bring you guys an update. I tried to do so the other day, but due to time factor, I couldn't succeed. So before you think of it, before you think of repatriating to Africa, before you think of coming back, it's okay to come and go, but don't make it a decision for you to sell everything you own in America to come, only for you to come here and struggle. It will break your heart, okay? Don't be in a rush to come back. Just like me, a few months ago, I was feeling very unhappy and I felt like maybe the best thing to do is go back to Nigeria. And that is because I was paying exorbitant bills. Like a lot of people will never relate to my struggle because you don't have a, you don't have a child that cannot work on her own. You don't have a child that cannot physically fit into the society. You will never know this, how difficult it is. It's easy, uh, send them to government school. You don't know everything around there, that how difficult that decision is for me. So I have been, my kids have been in a private school and I, it has been killing me. I didn't know around, I didn't know anyone. So I have been sending them to a school where at the end of the day, every three months I pay as much as, and it takes away the joy in my body, it takes away everything from me. Because all that I ever make, I became like it to the point that I even came out to seek for help to get that. So it was that difficult, like it was so difficult that I started thinking of returning to Nigeria because there is no school in my place, like of this of, of this category that would take me this much money to send my kids to. So I felt like, okay, maybe going back. But quickly, I snap out of that imagination because that is vivid imagination. I snapped out of it. And I asked myself, when I was in Nigeria, what did I do in my life? Did I even have any money to even pay anything? To the point that I was, okay, I'm paying too much. So plus or minus, I, I, I looked at it like, okay, I'm in Ghana. I'm spending so much, but... If I didn't have that money, will I even spend it? No. So I made it here and I spent it. So why am I, why do I feel like it's time to go home? Go home and do what? And be broke again? And not have that little to, I mean, not have, go home and not have at all at all, just because it's cheaper to live there. So what I did, now I'm going to teach you what I did. Let me tell you what I did. I reorganized my life instead of moving back to Nigeria. And this is how I did it. First thing, I moved from a beautiful apartment to this place. I'm paying the same amount, okay? But that one has a way of putting pressure. The price of living there, physical price was not even a problem. But, I mean, living there and constantly paying B, like, B is that you ordinarily could not pay. Like, I was just living and the pressure was on me. So the first decision I took is move from there to a more peaceful place, a more calmer environment uh, where the noise is, where the noise is less. It gives me a lot of money in terms of a lot of things like water. Here I get water, pay water bill, but not like, not compared to what I pay living at the other apartment. Because I was paying for my kids, I was paying water bill for young, for my kids and for myself. So if I'm to pay water bill of 100 cities, I'll pay like 200. So I put all of those things together and I said, okay, it's time to move. And I moved. One way I reorganized my life to be able to breathe. The second way and the most important one is changing my kids' school. I made the decision to pull them out from the school they were and I looked for another school and enrolled them. And we are all happy at least so now what i did is i reduced for two like i brought them out from that school to another one so maybe if you instead of moving back to africa why don't you do this reorganize like change some things if there's anything you can change because coming back here you'll be broke and if you are from here if you are from here if you're from this continent if you're from the country you're moving back to maybe you're in nigeria and you're going back home or you're Ghanaian. I don't really know much about how Ghanaians behave towards their family members without money. So I will leave it. Let me use my own country, for instance. A lot of people will see you as a loser, a failure. And 
the best thing to do is don't go back without money don't go back because others are moving or because the cost of living there is a lot better go back if you're ready go back because you're ready to start a business go back because there's an opportunity waiting for you go back because you have enough money now to invest in a business that will bring you good fruits at the end of the day but don't go back because youtubers have made it so glamorous to live in africa there is no glam here my dear <laughs> if you see this me if i see an opportunity today to relocate to any part of the world even at the same america that everyone is saying hey there's nothing in america my dear if i have the opportunity this minute i'm going to go I won't even look back. I won't miss anybody. Okay, so don't let anybody deceive you, okay? If you want to move to Africa, let it be something that you originally want to do. For me, how now, how I make money living in Ghana is through my YouTube videos. They were doing, my channel was doing terrible in Nigeria. It was doing terrible and that is because of the niche that i picked do i have any regret picking the niche that i picked for my channel no absolutely no regrets because i derive joy in doing what i love talking about this country that i love because i have been here and i have seen things that i like sharing those things that i like that has attracted me to growth in my own little way so I don't have any regrets. But going back to Nigeria and sitting there and be talking about Ghana, it will look like you are a noise maker. Period. Noise maker on period. So I I don't feel like I'm being forced to live in Ghana. Absolutely no. It's just that I'm thinking like some people are thinking, oh, it's it's difficult here. And some people are saying it's cold. <laughs> It's cold there, it's hot here. Yeah. <laughs> Nowhere is easy. The bottom line is everywhere is so freaky hard. So the only people that are welcome are those with money and not come and spend. Okay, those coming with lots of money to invest on one or two businesses are highly welcome. But if you have a lot of money and you want to just come and enjoy life, I will ask you, I will advise you to come on holiday and do so and see, compare and contract, um, um check it out and see if that is the life you will become that will not render you broke in your old age <laughs> so for me this is all i have to contribute to be to keep it as real as it is so if you want to move to africa come for a visit Charlie. come and visit work and save extra money come for holidays spend some time here if you're from here with the family if you're not come here to follow you spend time okay but don't come with the soul mind of coming back to live here because they have made it seem like living here is easy we youtubers that tells people come here our currencies are not even in the local currencies no matter how little you earn as a youtuber it comes in dollars so don't let don't just put an end to it okay don't move solely because others are moving ask yourself very well before you do but for those grannies and uh, grandpas and those that have made if you are if you are retired please you're welcome to africa but if you have not been retired you're still working please stay back and work okay the continent is not running away it's here waiting for you you are always welcome but if you want to come live here permanently let it be during your retirement age to save you the stress thank you for watching this video i will see you in my next one ciao